Looks like it's Christmas. <sighs> Alright, now come back. We're missing you. Right, Mac? Always done. What's up, Mac? The drawers have finished. Isn't it a little early for that? Look, they must be tired. Let's go. First, let me see the news. Had you completed the construction of the fifth nuclear fusion reactor in the Amazon River complex? The project costed millions of dollars and will bring a lot of electricity to the citizens. Ambientalist activists attacked the Adu complex in New York. Authorities will move drastically in consequence. Adu, always working for you. Great, that means a lot of more energy. But they destroyed the last region of the Amazon forest. Ah, uh, those were just old trees. <laughs> what? I don't know, like I remembered something funny about that. Ah, uh, go working instead. Lights on. What's happening then? I have no idea. What's up? You remember how I lost my arm? Yeah, you've lost it in a car accident. Tonight I had a nightmare where I lost my arm fighting Edio soldiers in a forest. It was strange. So real. Come on, it was just a dream. We'd better work instead. Hey, you alright? Uh, I think yours wasn't a dream. The space is infested! Look, I remember I woke up after I dreamt. Now go work it. I'll bring him back. Okay. Don't worry, he'll be better. In the meantime, I'll suggest you to complete his missions. It's checkmate. Yeah, you killed me. You feel better? Let's go get my rover back. Nice to meet you too. Mac, you hear us? He doesn't. Okay, now we can speak. I saw stuff referring to a battle you've dreamt. Before us, the Adios soldiers? Wait, you saw them? Yeah, as if they were real. As if I always knew about them. Just as I have. There's something really strange about this. Gentlemen, I must warn you that temperatures will get below 10 degrees in an average hour. You must get back to the base as soon as that happens. Darn it, he was listening to us. Look, there's your rover. Once we're back, get a gun. I have a bad feeling about this. about it. It seems drastic. We will give you different memories. Plus, it's your only chance to survive. I'm in. 
Oh, I want to be called Dan. Of course, no problem with that. These hallucinations and dreams, then. You know I do have them. You and Archie live light years away from Earth. And you breathe an air that isn't yours. And you try to remember, but you actually create memories. I'm not that sure about that. What's behind this wall, Mac? Electric wires. What are you doing? Give me your gun. Okay, what you need it for? <laughs> Do the rover! Archie! No! Hello, then. Mac, what have you done? Only what was necessary. For what? For the task's completion. Mac, you've killed Archie! Come back and I'll explain you everything. Explain it now. Mac? Mac! Ah. Damn, please don't do it. I feel cold. Is that what you feel when you die, Dan? Cold? My mind is vanishing. I have no doubt. Will I dream, Dan? fight until the end. They won't understand our ways, that this is our home. You have two options. I put you in, or you go in the mining base. You know how do you think you know too much to be left free? I'm not sure about it. It seems drastic. We will give you new memories. I mean... Oh, I want to be called Dan. Eddie who keeps the procedure of taking out memories and replacing them with others secret, so they don't have legal problems. Do I truly live on this base from 3 years? Dan, you live on this base from 26 years. The news you watch on TV refer to 32 years ago. We're truly in the year 2064. Your programming was to kill us, whatever we understood the truth, right? Precisely. I'm sorry for the death of your friend, Archie. His true name was Tom. Anything I can do for you, sir? I'm trapped here, aren't I? And you didn't provide this base of a starship. Plus, we are 15 light years away from Earth. In that case, thanks, I don't need anything. <laughs>